Psalm 21. Through your strength, the king is strong. Look how he rejoices in you, O Lord. The king explodes with joy, singing a song because of your victory. For you have given him his heart's desire, anything and everything he asks for. You have withheld not a thing from your betrothed one. Pause in his presence. Through his encounter with you, rich blessings overflow. You placed a royal crown of gold upon his head. He wanted resurrection. You have given it and more. The days of his blessing stretch on one after another forever. You have honored him and made him famous. Glory garments are upon him. Splendor and majesty surround him because of you. Your victory heaps blessing after blessing upon him. What joy and bliss he tastes, rejoicing before your face. For the king trusts endlessly in you. He will never stumble, never fall. Your never failing, forever love holds him firm. Your almighty hands have captured your foes. You uncovered all who hate you and you seized them. When you appear before them, unveiling the radiance of your face, they will be burned by the fierce inferno of your presence. <laughs> Flames will swallow them up. Even their descendants will be destroyed by the unrelenting fire. For these are ones who plot and plan evil against the Lord. We will watch them fail and fall. You will make them turn and run at the sight of your judgment, arrow aimed straight at their heart. By your strength, Lord, by your strength, I lift you high. By your strength, I sing praise to your power. By your strength, I lift this song to the above all God. Psalm 22. God, O oh God, my God, why would you forsake me now? Why do you remain distant, refusing to hear my moaning, my groaning? I weep with desperate cries for your help. I can't stop sobbing. Where are you, my God? Yet I know you are most holy. It's indisputable. You are the enthroned God surrounded with songs, living among the shouted praises of your princely people. Our fathers' faith was in you. Over and over they trusted, believing in you, and you came through. Every time they cried to you in their despair, you were faithful to deliver them. You didn't disappoint them. But look at me now. I'm like a woeful, worn, crushed, worm crushed, and I'm bleeding crimson. I don't even look like a man anymore, abused, despised, and scorned by everyone, mocked by their jeers, despised with their sneers, spitting their insults. All the people poke fun at me, saying, don't tell me this is the one who trusted in God. Is the, this the one who claims God is pleased with him? Now let's see if he'll come to your rescue. We'll just see how much he delights in you. Lord, you brought me forth safely from my mother's womb, and you are the one who cared for me ever since I was a baby. Since the day I was born, I've never, I've been placed in your custody. You've cradled me throughout my days. I've trusted in you, and you've always been my God. So don't leave me now. Stay close to me, for trouble is all around me and there's no one else to help me. I'm surrounded by those violent foes, forces of evil swirling around me. They want to break me to bits and destroy me. They are many, they are mighty, curses pour from their mouths. They are like ravenous roaring lions tearing their prey. Now I'm completely exhausted, I'm spent. Every joint of my body has been pulled apart. My courage has vanished. My inward parts have melted away. I'm so thirsty, parched, and dry as a bone. My tongue sticks to the roof of my mouth. You have left me in the dust for dead. 
They have pierced my hands and my feet like a pack of wild dogs. They tear me, they, they tear at me, swirling around me with their hatred. They gather around me. They maul my hands and feet. All my bones stick out. Look how they all gloat over me and stare with a toss of the dice. They divide my clothes among themselves, gambling for my garments. Lord, please don't stay far away. Oh God, my only might and strength, won't you come quickly to my rescue? Give me back my life. Save me from this violent death. My precious one and only, from the power of these demons, save me from all the power of the enemy, from the roaring lion raging against me, and all the power of his dark horde. I will praise your name before all my brothers and my people gather. As my people gather, I will praise you in their midst. Lovers of Yahweh, praise him. Let all the true seed of Jacob glorify him with your praises. Stand in awe of him, all you princely people, the offspring of Israel, for he has not despised my cries of deep despair. He is my first responder to all my sufferings and didn't look the other way when I was in pain. He was there all the time, listening to the song of the afflicted. You are my praise. It comes from you and goes to you among the congregation of your people. I will keep my promise to praise you before all who fear you. I will invite the poor and broken and they will eat until satisfied. Bring Yahweh praise and you will find him. Your hearts will overflow with outrageous joy. From the four corners of the earth, the peoples of the world will remember and return to the Lord. Every nation will come and worship him. For the Lord is king of all and takes charge over all the nations. There they are. They're worshiping all the wealthy of this world will feast in fellowship with him. Alongside of them will be the humble of heart, bowing down to the dust, forsaking their own souls. They will all come and worship this worthy king. His spiritual seed shall serve him. Future generations will hear from us about the wonders of the Lord. His generation not yet born will glorify him and they will all preach it is finished psalm 23 god is my fierce protector and provider i always have more than enough like a shepherd he finds a resting place for me in his luxury love his tracks take me to the quiet brooks of bliss an oasis of grace that's where he restores and revives my life. He opens before me pathways to God's pleasure, leading me along in his footsteps of righteousness so that I can bring honor to his name. Even when his path takes me through the valley of deepest darkness, fear will not conquer me for you already have forever close to me. You will lead me through it all the way. The strength of your authority is my peace, my reassurance. The comfort of your love takes away my fear. I'll never be lonely when you are near. You become my delicious feast, even when my enemies dare to fight. You anoint me with the fragrance of your Holy Spirit. You give me all I can drink of you until my heart overflows. Why would I fear the future? For your goodness and unfailing love will always be my companions every day. Then afterward, when my life is through, I'll return to your glorious presence forever with you. Psalm 24 God claims the world is his. Everything and everyone belongs to him. He is the one who pushed back oceans to let the dry ground appear planting firm foundations for the earth. Who then dares to climb up into the presence of the Lord? 
and who has the right to enter into the holy place where he dwells. It will be those who are clean and, th- and whose works and ways are pure, whose hearts are true, and who are sealed in the truth. Those who never deceive and those whose words are pure are sure. Those who live like this will receive the Lord's blessing and the righteousness given by the Savior God. They are the very ones who will stand before God, for they seek the pleasure of Jacob's God by seeking his face. Pause in his presence. So awaken up, you living gateways. Lift up your heads, you ageless doors of destiny. Welcome the King of glory who is about to come through you. You ask, who is this King of glory? Who is this glory king? It is the Lord, armed and ready for battle, the mighty one, invincible in every way. So wake up, you living gateways, and rejoice. Fling wide open, you forever doors of destiny. Here he comes. The glory king is ready to come in. You ask, who is this glory king? He is the Lord of victory, armed and ready for battle, the mighty one, invincible commander of heaven's hosts. Yes, he is the glory king. Pause in his presence. Psalm 25. Lord, I lift up my soul into your very presence. Don't fail me, God, for I keep trusting in you. Don't let my foes gloat over me. Don't let the shame of defeat come over me, for no one can be disgraced when they trust and hope in you. But all will be defeated and ashamed when they harm the innocent. Lord, take me on the journey to experience your plans for my life. Reveal to me the life paths that are pleasing to you. Lead me forward and teach me. Take me by the hand. O God of my increasing salvation, I have no hope except in you. Lord, forgive my failures as a young man. Overlook the sins of my immaturity. Look at me instead through the eyes of love and grace, through your forgiving eyes of mercy and compassion. Remember me as one you love and care for. Lord, you are so good to me, for you are easy to please faithful and true. When someone turns to you, how joyfully you teach them the proper path. Even when they go astray, you steer the the humble into the best decision, bringing revelation light to train them in the truth. When they obey you and follow your ways, you always lead them into pleasant paths of love and faithfulness. Such love surrounds them as your truth takes them forward. But Lord, how many are my sins? For the honor of your name, forgive them all. Lift their burden off my life. My question is this, how does one live in the holy fear of God? You will be the one revealing the right path to take. Then his soul will live in prosperity and favor, and his descendants inherit all that is good. Intimate friendship with the Lord means sitting near him. It is a place reserved only for his lovers. They receive the revelation secrets of his promises. My eyes are ever gazing on you, Lord. You're the only one that can rescue me. Come closer to me. Lord, I need your mercy. I'm helpless, mistreated, all alone and in misery. My problems are going from bad to worse. Only you can free me from all these troubles. Can't you see all my sorrows? Can't you feel my pain? My troubles and trials are more than I can handle. Won't you lift off of me the burden of all my sins? Don't you see all my enemies, how they viciously hate me? Save me, protect me from their power against me. 
Let it never be said that I trusted in you and you didn't come to my rescue. May your protection, may your perfection and faithfulness be my bodyguards. For I trust and hope in you as my only protection. Elohim, you will provide the ransom price for Israel, saving her from all her troubles. Psalm 26. You be my judge, declare me innocent, clear my name, for I have tried my best to keep your laws and trust you without wavering. Lord, you can scrutinize me, refine my heart, probe my every thought, put me to the test and you'll find it's true. I will never lose sight of your love for me. Your faithfulness has steadied my steps. I won't keep company with tricky two-faced men, nor will I go the way of those who defraud, concealing their motives. I despise the sinner's hangouts, refusing to even enter them. You won't find me walking among the wicked. When I come before you, I'll come clean, approaching your altar with songs of thanksgiving, singing aloud the songs of your mighty miracles. Lord, I love your home, this place of dazzling glory, the splendor and light of your presence. Don't treat me as one of them, these scheming sinners who plot violence against the innocent. Look how they devise their wicked plans, holding the innocent hostage for ransom. I'm not like them, Lord, not at all. Save me, redeem me with your mercy, for I have chosen to walk only in what is right. I will proclaim it publicly in every congregation. Because of you, Lord, I will take my stand on righteousness alone. Psalm 27. The Lord is my revelation light and the source of my salvation. With him as my life strength, I will fear no one. With you surrounding me, protecting me, I'll never turn back in fear. When evil ones come to destroy me, they will be the ones who turn back. Even if an army arises to attack me, my heart will not be afraid. I know that God will be there for me, so I will not be shaken. Here's the one thing I want from God, the thing I seek above all else. I want the privilege of living with him every moment in his house, finding the sweet loveliness of his face, filled with awe, delighted in the glory, his glory and grace. I want to live my life so close to him that he takes pleasure in my every prayer and his shelter in the day of trouble. That's where you'll find me. For he hides me there in his holiness. He has smuggled me into his secret place where I'm safe and secure, out of reach from all my enemies. Triumphant now, I'll bring him my offerings of praise, singing with shouts of ecstasy joy. Yes, and you can hear the fanfare of my shouts of praise to the Lord. God, hear my cry. Show me grace. Show me mercy. Send the help I need. Lord, when you told me to seek your face, my inner being responded, I'm coming to seek your face with all my heart. Don't hide yourself, Lord. Then I come to find you when I come to find you. God of my salvation, how can you reject your servant in anger? You've been my only hope. Don't forsake me now when I need you. My father and mother abandoned me. I'm an orphan. But you took me in and made me yours. Now teach me all about your ways and tell me what to do. Make it clear for me to understand, for I am surrounded by waiting enemies. Don't let them defeat me, Lord. You can't let me fall into their clutches. They keep accusing me of things I've never done while well, they plot evil against me. Yet I totally trust you to rescue me one more time so that I can see once again. 
how good you are while I'm still alive. Here's what I've learned through it all. Don't give up. Don't be impatient. Be entwined with the Lord. Be brave, courageous, and never lose hope. Yes, keep waiting, for He will never disappoint you. Psalm 28. I'm pleading with you, Lord. Help me. Don't turn a deaf ear to my cry, for you are my defender. If you remain aloof and refuse to answer me, I might as well give up and die. Can't you see me turning towards your mercy seat as I lift up my hands in surrendered prayer? Now, Lord, please listen to my cry. Don't allow me to be punished with the wicked ones, the hypocrites who speak sweetly to their neighbor's face, but hold evil against them in their hearts. Go ahead and punish them as they deserve. Let them be paid back for all their evil plans in proportion to their wickedness, since they don't care anything about you nor about the great things you've done. Take them down like an old building being demolished, never again to be rebuilt. But may your name be blessed and built up, for you have answered my passionate cry for mercy. Now you are my strength and my shield from every danger. When I fully trust in you, help is on the way. I jump for joy and burst forth with ecstatic, passionate praise, singing songs of what you mean to me. You will be the inner strength of all your people, mighty protector of all, the saving strength for all your anointed ones, protecting and cherishing your chosen ones. In you, they will never fall. Keep leading us forward like a shepherd that goes before us, forever carrying us in your arms. Psalm 29. Proclaim his majesty, all you mighty champions, you sons of almighty God. Give all the glory and strength back to him. Be in awe before his majesty. Be in awe before such power and might. Come worship wonderful Yahweh in raid in all his splendor. Bow in worship as he appears in all his beautiful holiness. Give him the honor due to his name. Worship him wearing the glory garments of your holy priestly calling. The voice of God echoes through the skies and seas. The glory of God reigns as he thunders in the clouds. So powerful his voice, so brilliant and bright. How majestic as he thunders over the seas. His tymphatic thunder topples the strongest of trees. His symphonic sound splinters the mighty forests. Now Zion's mountains move by the might of his voice. He shakes the snowy peaks with his ear splitting sound. The flash, the lightning fire flashes, striking as he speaks. God reveals himself when he makes the fault lines quake, shaking deserts, speaking his voice. With fear and trembling, man and beast are jolted. With his voice like thunder, forests are laid bare. While in his temple, all fall before him, each one shouting, Glory! Glory! The God of glory! Above the furious flood, the enthroned one lives. The King God rules with eternity at his side. This is the one who gives his strength and might to his people. This is the Lord giving his kiss of peace. Psalm 30 I will lift you high, exalting you, O Lord, for you lifted me up on high. Over all my boasting, gloating enemies, you made me to triumph. O Lord, my healing God, I cried out to you for a miracle and you healed me. You brought me back from the brink of death, from the depths below. Now here I am, alive and well, fully restored. Oh, sing and make melody, everyone. 
steadfast lovers of God. Give thanks to Him every time you reflect on His holiness. I've learned that His anger is short-lived but how his loving favor lasts a lifetime. Our weeping may endure through the night, but as the day breaks forth, it will become shouts of ecstatic joy. I remember boasting, I've got it made. Nothing can stop me now. I'm God's favored one. He's made me steady as a mountain, but then suddenly it seemed as though you hid your face from me. I was panic stricken and I got so depressed. Still, I cried out to you, oh Lord, I shouted out for your mercy. Pleading, I said, what would you gain in my death? My going down to the depths of darkness? Will, you, will a grave sing your song? How could death's dust declare your faithfulness? So hear me now, Lord. Show me your famous mercy. Oh God, be my savior and rescue me. Then he came through, transforming all my wailing into a whirling dance of ecstatic praise. He has torn the veil and lifted from my soul the sad heaviness of mourning. He wrapped me in the glory garments of gladness. How could I be silent when it's time to praise you? Now my heart sings out loud, bursting with joy, bliss inside that keeps me saying, I can never thank you enough.